this is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about two new QQQ ETFs, the Triple QM and the Triple QJ. If you're interested in learning how to make money in both bull and bear markets, or you just want to see what I'm trading or investing in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So for those of you who don't know, I should define what an ETF is. It's just short for exchange traded fund. And what it is, is it's a security that trades just like a stock. You can buy and sell it all day long, but it gives you exposure to a basket of companies called an index. In the case of the QQQs, it's an ETF that gives you exposure to something called the NASDAQ 100 index, which is the 100 largest non-financial companies that trade on the NASDAQ. One weird thing about the NASDAQ 100 is it's actually 103 different stocks simply because there are companies in it like Google that have two shares of uh, two different share classes of stock. But it's basically the 100 largest companies in the index that are not financial companies. And when we say largest, we're measuring it by market cap. So the total number of shares times the price per share. If we look at the NASDAQ 100, they're very common names. In fact, it's highly skewed toward the FANG stocks plus Microsoft, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, and then uh, we can see Alphabet as two shares of stock. Tesla has definitely moved up and is now in the top, uh, top five or six, which is very exciting. But if you're buying the QQQs, the, end, the performance of it is gonna be heavily skewed toward the FANG stocks plus Tesla plus Microsoft. And these are already multi-trillion dollar companies. And so the upside is not quite as large as perhaps it could have been. And so that's one reason I'm going to talk about two other alternatives here. Now, the first one is actually a version that's very similar to the QQQs. In fact, it's identical. So here's the QQQs. Currently trades at $292 per share. They've now come out with a mini version. That's the QQQ. M. And it basically gives you exposure to, to the exact same index, the, the same basket of stocks, but at a lower price. So instead of being a, a 292, this is 120. So it uh, will make it easier for smaller accounts to buy a full share. This isn't a huge problem because most brokers now allow you to buy fractional shares. But there's another nice thing about the QQQ M, uh, M's that I just noticed uh, this morning is, and that's that is that they have a lower expense ratio. Now this is just the fee that you pay to hold them for one year. If you hold them for less than a year, I believe it's it accrues and you st you still end up paying a fee. But the QQQs, really the traditional ones, uh, offer a uh, have a, an expense ratio of 0.2 uh, 0.2 percent. So this is two tenths of one percent percent, uh, two tenths of one percent. The QQQMs have an expense ratio of 0.15%. So what this means in real dollar terms is if you buy a $100 worth of the QQQs, you will pay 20 cents per year in expenses versus 15 cents for the QQQMs. So this might make sense, especially if you're holding it for a long period of time with a lower expense ratio. It's obviously not a huge difference. It can be a larger uh, difference in terms of absolute dollars if you're investing a lot of money in this. But what I do like about this is it will make the QQQs more accessible to investors and traders with smaller accounts. So that's the QQQM or the QQQ Mini. I will link uh, to the to the financial product page at Invesco uh, so you can look more in depth at that. Now I'm going to talk about the QQQJs which I've talked about in a previous video, but I think it bears repeating here because they're actually the, the one that I'm most excited about. Now we said the QQQs are the top 100 companies arranged by market cap. So if we have a list, if we ranked all the companies that trade on the NASDAQ, we threw out the financial companies, there are some banks and things like that, and we rank them all, all the non-financial companies by market cap, the QQQs would be that top 100 companies. And as we said, there are 103 stocks because some of them have dual uh, share structure, but uh, they'd be the top 100 stocks. The QQQJs would be the next 100 down on the list, basically stock number 101, ranked by market cap all the way down to stock uh, 200. So that's 100 different companies. And what's neat about these, again, it trades under the ticker QQQJ, is that these tend to be 
Uh, they're smaller market cap. They're still large cap companies, but they're smaller. They're not the trillion dollar market cap companies that, that dominate in the QQQs. And so you end up with smaller, higher growth, younger companies that offer uh, possibly more opportunity. And so you could think of it as sort of a higher risk, higher reward bet on tech. So it has more upside than the QQQs, more downside will probably be more volatile over the short term, which is also always a good thing. Volatility is good for traders. In uh, this article, John Hoffman, who runs the uh, ETF and index strategies department at Invesco, points out that there are currently 35 companies that are in the QQQ right now that used to be in the QQQJ and have, have sort of graduated as their market cap increase. So that's this is the main thing I like about the QQQJs. They also have a very low, uh, they also just charge a 0.15% uh, uh, expense ratio. So the same as the triple QM and less than the the uh, triple Q. And you get exposure to these high growth uh, names that tend to be momentum names. If we take a look at the list of them, we can see that uh, these are, I think, arranged by, yeah, these are arranged by sort of the weighting in the ETF. We have a Trade Desk, we have uh, Marvel, MRVL, Okta, Team, uh, Coop, Koopa Software, Zebra. A lot of these names you will recognize if you've been following along with my momentum stock videos. So another way of dealing with this, you could just cost average, dollar cost average in the QQQJs and um, you know maybe invest a $100 every two weeks or something like that and just buy the number of shares or fractional shares that that $100 will buy you. That's what uh, dollar cost averaging means. Or you can also just go to this page. You can take a look at this list and you can use it as a basket, uh, sort of a pool of fish to a, a pond to fish in for good momentum stock. So if we look at, this is the trade desk, TTTD, which we were just talking about. MRVL is another one. Uh, Marvel Tech, also a great looking chart. Uh, Koopa Software, looks like it's in a, a sideways range. Uh, Team is another one that we've been, we've been following for a while. And so this is a great place to fish for good momentum names. And what I like to see on these momentum names, I like to see the stock price. So these are daily bars daily candlestick chart. And the blue line here is the 50-day moving average. The red line is the 200-day moving average. So I like to see the stock trading above the blue line and the blue line above the red line. This is how we define an uptrend. And you can see when you get a crossover, it's quite often the beginning of an uptrend. And so if you're buying stocks that are constantly hitting new 52-week lows that are going down, you're not gonna get the results you want for the most part. Stocks that go down have a tendency to keep going down simply because their market cap shrink. They become a smaller part of the index. We saw this happen recently with ExxonMobil that was finally booted out of the, um, the S&P 500 to make way for Tesla. This is a stock that people have been trying to buy the dip on and uh, even investors have been trying to buy the dip to collect the dividend, but it's in a, been in a very long, slow decline. If you wanna buy uh, stocks that go up a lot, when a stock goes up a lot, it's gonna hit new 52-week highs, new all-time highs along the way. And so you really wanna look at stocks that have charts that start in the lower left-hand corner and go to the upper right-hand corner. This is another way, obviously, of defining an uptrend. And I think this is a great pool to fish in. The good thing about uh, the, the, the reason stocks go up a lot is because they represent a company that is growing its revenues very quickly, that's uh, growing its, its earnings, or has very high um, future prospects of high earnings. So for example, a company like Amazon didn't have any earnings for any years, many years. Same for Tesla, same for Facebook, and then they flipped a switch, Facebook in particular flipped a switch, turned on their advertising, and were able to start bringing in billions and billions of dollars. And this is ultimately what drives stock growth, is earnings growth. And earnings growth is driven by revenue growth, having good margins, 
taking market share, etc. So that's what I really like about the QQQJs. There are two ways to use it. And you could even use it in two separate accounts. You could have your investing account where you constantly dollar cost average into it. Again, none of this is financial advice. Check with a financial advisor. Um, you could do a mixture of QQQs and QQQJs, maybe do 60% QQQs and 40% and, and QQQJs. That would be the investment side of things. And then on the trading side of things where you just want to have a little bit more fun, maybe take more risks in exchange for possibly more reward, you would trade uh, these components as, uh, as momentum stocks and uh, use this sort of trend following technique. Now, if you find this video, uh, this sort of trend following interesting, if you're interested in momentum stocks, you can check out my course on momentum stocks where I talk about uh, trending stocks, range bound stocks, how to distinguish between them, how to size your positions, where to enter, where to exit, how to set your stop loss, these sort of risk management things that are very, very important for new traders and old traders, and how to enter a momentum stock that's already been going up for a while. This is a very popular lecture, including a couple secret indicators for when to take profits and also how to identify blow off top so you don't get left holding the bag at the top. In addition to this course, I have a bunch of other courses on my site, including Learn to Trade Stocks Like a Pro, which is for the beginner trader to take you from A to Z. And even if you don't know anything about the stock market or how these things work, if you take this course, when you emerge on the other side, you will know everything you need to know to make money trading and investing in stocks. I also have a course on day trading as well, a course on how to make money with IPOs, how to trade options, how to trade futures. All in all, there are 15 courses here. And the good news is you don't have to choose between them. You can actually get access to all of them for one low price, including my course on futures, course on swing trading with options, a course where you can follow along what I'm doing with Bitcoin and possibly other cryptos, and a course on covered calls. Everything's here that you need, whether you're an investor or a trader, a day trader, a swing trader, a momentum trader. So if this is something that interests you, you can click on the link in the description notes below. It will take you to this page and then you can click on any of these boxes that will give you access to the list of lectures contained in that particular course. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can click get it now. It'll take you to the checkout page. Now normally access to all 15 courses is just $125 for 30 days but I want to give you a special coupon. So if you scroll down here to where it says have a coupon code, type in YT, as in YouTube, 99, and click update. That will take $26 off, so you get access to all 15 courses for just $99 for 30 days. You can cancel at any time before your subscription is up. You won't be charged again. There are no long-term contracts or anything like that. So you can actually get access to all 15 really in-depth courses for just $99. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next YouTube video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below, what you think of Triple QM and Triple QJ. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.